So we've come to the time where we present the annual honorary award, IEORC honorary award. And ladies and gentlemen, sometimes things happen quietly and the person we're honoring today is indeed a quiet and modest gentleman. This person is a person who allows his team to develop new processes, who keeps his organization flat and open, allowing innovation to happen, much in the same way as Stephen Johnson described in his book, Where Good Ideas Come From. About 14 years ago, the EU borders to the east opened, and this resulted in a huge amount of cars being exported towards the east. This initiated a weaning process for this person's company, as the company had traditionally been dependent on the recycling of end-of-life vehicles. At that moment in time, the WE Directive was a work in progress, so this was seen and identified as the strategic new growth market for this particular recycling company. At the 2004 IERC conference in Basel, a remarkable encounter happened between two people who could not be more different. One very outspoken, trying to be seen, and one quietly trying to find new ways to find optimal processes to deal with e-waste. This was the start of a transatlantic alliance between two companies and a friendship between two men. The man that we are honoring today allows his team to dig in deeply into this urban e-waste mine. His company developed a new machine to depollute e-waste. This machine is in operation practically around the world and new processes were developed to reduce the minimum size for separation of copper and precious metals to almost dust. This year, his company introduced a world first with the introduction of post-consumer recycling, recycled PCABS from e-waste, and further innovations in the treatment of e-waste materials are in the pipeline. This recycling company group integrates all the steps in the recycling process of e-waste, resulting in a recycling depth that sets an example in our e-waste recycling industry. His company group is now the largest e-waste recycler in Central and Eastern Europe, and for many of you, it will be clear that the steering committee has decided to honor Christian Müller Guttenbrunn, CEO of the Müller Guttenbrunn Group, with the IERC Honorary Award for 2017. Christian, can I invite you to the stage? Well, I'm not supposed to ring it yet. We'll just come out here. So, Christian, congratulations on Thank winning this much. prestigious award. I know that you also won an award last night. You might just talk about that. Um, so, Christian receives this award in recognition of his lifetime work to develop new recycling processes and founding new clean tech companies in Austria and Eastern Europe in various sectors such as plastics recycling and metal sorting. The prize also goes to the very innovative team of the Müller Guttenbrook Group who have driven to implement new technologies to depollute e-waste and upgrade recycling plastics for the industry. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So. Yes. Thank you, Jean, for your nice words. I'm really, really impressed. And thank you very much for, for this prize. And yes, you already mentioned it. This is a very exciting 
week for me personally because yesterday I was in in Vienna together with Chris Lighthouse. And we received the European Business Awards in the category of environment and sustainability, uh, which is very, uh, uh, yeah, it's an exciting thing. And to get this uh, prize today, a few hours later, it's even more exciting because in this forum we are we are in the middle of the creme de la creme of the recycling industry in electronic business in Europe. And I thank you very much. And of course, this is an award which uh, I cannot uh, deserve this as a person uh, alone, because uh, you, need, you need a very good team for that. Uh, for that achievement, what we did in the, in the last decades. And I'm very proud of my team, and I know there are a lot of them here today. Thank you very much. And yeah, let's recycle the future. <laughs> Thank you. So we just come. So I think we will now just stand, just, you have to wait a moment, we're going to do your Austrian national anthem, so if you want to. <laughs> Thank you again, Christian. Thank you. Thank you.